So today what we're doing is hand collecting for millipedes. Uh, we, I've been coming out to Lake Laurel for years and I bring my classes out here and we, we come and collect and, and try and understand that biodiversity. I have a number of students in my lab and they are working on different aspects of millipede ecology. So some of them are working more on broad distributions and trying to understand what species we have and where they're living within the state. We have a project that's working on a millipede genome so we can understand what's happening at the genetic level and then relate what's happening at the genetic level to what's happening out in, in the real world. We have students that are working on trying to track millipedes. So we're out here hand sampling millipedes. So pretty much for the most part, we're turning over leaf litter, rocks, other detritus, trying to see what's underneath it. The most efficient way of getting a, like a biodiversity survey. I'm working on a genome project for a local millipede species, so C. georgiana, because there's actually a lot of like genetic information that we don't know about millipedes, and it's like a pretty niche field that not a lot of people are into, especially because like the technology is really expensive, so we're kind of branching out into it. There's a really big lack of genetic information that we know about millipedes. It's not like I think there's only four fully published genomes so far, and there's like 10,000 different species of millipedes, so it's just kind of a relatively unknown thing that I thought was interesting. I'm starting a new project on um, millipede tracking techniques. I'm looking into how we can mark them, how we can track them, because surprisingly, we don't have very many methods on marking and tracking any arthropod, because anything we put on them just falls off because they're so slick, they're so shiny. So if we we're able to mark them and mark them in different colors, see where they're going and then find them again, that could be really huge in finding out where they're going, what they're doing. Learning that I was able to get involved in research within my first semester, because a lot of professors don't let their students join first semester of undergrad. Like, that's early. I don't know anything. I came in blank slate, pretty much. And I mean, I'm still learning, still learning new things every day.